Humans have lived on this planet for at least 300,000 years. So how is it that the animal kingdom is still such a mystery to us today? Every day, scientists learn something new about these animals that baffles us. But slowly and surely, we're getting our answers, some of which are really surprising. Join us as we take a look at some of the animals that defy the laws of physics. Number 1. Ebex An ebex is a wild goat that spends the majority of its time eating grass in the pasture land. The reason's simple enough, it needs to gain fat to survive the harsh cold in the alpines, because it only gets tougher to find food in the winter. So the ebex can be found eating all year round when food's available. And then, when the winters come around, the male and the females find each other for the breeding season. You may have heard of the ebex because they're famous for their aggressive interactions. You see, the men can be found loudly clashing their horns together in an attempt to be the alpha of the hierarchy. But there's also something else about them that amazes everyone who sees them. Yeah, it's that physics-defying stuff that we talked about before. Get ready for some of that physics-defying stuff we talked about. These animals can climb almost vertical surfaces. And when we mean steep, we mean impossible for a rock climber to attempt as well. Unlike the uneven rock of a surface where we might find something to grab onto, these goats can climb almost smooth surfaces thanks to their agility. In fact, this is their only move against predators. The moment they feel threatened, they'll just jump up that vertical cliff surface out of its reach until the threat gets tired of waiting around. So it made sense that these goats became a viral sensation when common people learned about their skills. In that video, a female ebex was seen climbing the wall of a Signeo dam to find her way up. We have the answer if you're wondering why the ebex climbed all the way up the wall of the dam. These herbivores eat a lot of green, but their diet has almost no salt, mainly calcium salts. So they'll climb and climb and climb until they get them. No damage to the dam walls have been observed, so the goats can continue to climb up those walls with their physics-defying hooves for as long as they want. Number 2. Cockroaches you should have known that roaches would end up on this list. Sure, they can survive high levels of radioactivity that would kill a human, but that's not what we want to talk about. It turns out that these insanely robust creatures use their heads like an automobile bumper. A new study revealed that these bugs ran themselves headfirst into a wall and then used that momentum to climb up quicker than if they were to slow down upon approach. This head-on approach, as seen, is much more efficient for the insect, which can travel 20% faster with this technique. In fact, at first, these roaches were traveling so fast that you couldn't observe them hitting the walls. When the footage was slowed down, though, that's when they saw them run right into the wall and lift themselves up to continue the vertical journey. At first, we believe that most animals use their senses and brains to help navigate trickery and evade potential threats, but after observing roaches, it's clear that some use the shape of their bodies to protect them from collisions and even use that momentum to their advantage. Plus, it makes them more efficient climbers. In a natural environment, if these roaches were trying to escape a predator, this efficiency and speed could be the difference between life and death. And you all know just how much these roaches like to live. Number 3. Oriental Hornet we always knew that the Oriental Hornet was able to generate electricity within its body for unknown reasons, but there was one crucial piece of information missing. It turns out that these hornets have built-in collar cells that enable them to use the sun's energy to generate electricity. In short, they basically work a bit like a solar cell. The new study was still unable to state just what the hornet does with that electrical energy, but that whole being like a solar cell bit is the first time we've ever seen that in the animal kingdom. Jacob Bichet figured this out when he was observing the insect. He noticed that the hornet was active when the sun was shining bright. This was peculiar because most hornets were known to be involved at night. To understand why these hornets were so active in the day, scientists went one step further and decided to study the exoskeleton of the insect. They learned that pigments inside the hornet's yellow tissue trapped light, and the brown tissues generated electricity. The brown tissue actually contained melanin, just like in humans, and these pigments trapped almost 99% of all light that hit the surface. These hornet cells may work like solar cells, but they're only 0.335% as efficient when compared to solar cells that are 10% efficient. Until we learn what they do with that energy, one thing is sure, while they're getting a little bit of energy from the sunlight, the hornet still has to rely on food for most of its energy to survive. Number 4. Elephants Elephants are surprisingly intelligent, and they have complex family relationships just like humans. They even have unusual rituals. 
Not everyone is aware that elephants can communicate over vast differences as well as short ones via infrasound or very low frequency sounds, which are vibrations that occur less frequently than 20 times per second. We've learned that when an elephant makes the typical sounds, it travels through the air and the ground. These sounds were measured and found to travel through the air at a speed of about 309 meters per second and the ground at a speed of about 248 to 264 meters per second. And what's more is that these elephants are able to detect these signals, figure out where they're coming from, and even respond to them from miles away. To understand how this happens, first, you need to know that sound waves are transmitted as light seismic waves. Elephants may be able to actually sense these waves with the help of their very sensitive proboscis and their legs. As a result, elephant paws make excellent natural wave detectors. These low frequency signals that are transported through the ground and cover great distances aren't hampered by other factors either. That's very unlike our own voices, which can get distorted over long distances. This ability helps the elephants communicate different messages among themselves. They can respond to an alarm call by grouping together in tight groups. In fact, they can also receive calls from other elephants about where water could be found while ensuring that they don't all crowd a single watering hole. That's pretty complex. At one point, someone noticed that the elephants on the coast of South Africa were facing the ocean where whales were present, who also communicate via infrasound. As of today, there's absolutely no confirmation that the two animals can understand one another. But who knows? I can dream, right? Number 5. Spiders Humans are only able to notice Earth's electrical field when there's a storm and lightning flashes in the sky. But other animals are way more in tune with nature. For instance, spiders can harness electricity in the air to fly. New research from the University of Bristol shows that a spider can balloon by holding onto a single thread that lifts it up and carries it away. We always thought it was the result of some unknown way of riding air currents. Even Darwin was puzzled when aeronaut spiders reached the beagle on thin threads 60 miles off the coast of South America. Researchers eventually theorized that electric fields were involved, and now they've seen the effect for themselves, just as you saw right now. They saw that when an electric field was present in a sealed chamber box with no air currents, spiders were able to take off. The lift that they needed came from the way that the charged thread repelled the electric field. Then, when the electric field was turned off, the spiders went right back down. Spiders have this ability because they have tiny hairs called trichobotria that can sense these electric fields. It's actually similar to how our hand stands up when we sense static electricity. But unlike us, when a spider thinks the field is strong enough, it'll climb onto a high branch or a blade of grass, spin a silk line, and fly away. I'm getting Mary Poppins vibes here for some reason. Number 6. Dog. There's a question the researchers have pondered over for quite some time. How do dogs know where to go? Is it thanks to their sight, their smell, or a third thing? As expected, numerous studies were conducted, and they showed that dogs could find their way back to where they started by using a method known as magnetoreception. Simply put, this ability allows dogs to sense the Earth's magnetic field and use it as a compass. Yeah, the man's best friend is pretty smart. While it may sound complicated, it's a fact. Dogs actually use the Earth's magnetic field to help them figure out where they're at. In one study, scientists looked at how sensitive dogs are to small changes in the Earth's magnetic field and showed that dogs can sense magnetic fields and even react to them. Researchers found that the dog's behavior changed based on the magnetic field strength. In particular, they found that dogs prefer to pee and poop when their bodies are aligned with north and south axis, and avoiding doing these things when their bodies are aligned along the east-west axis. They've observed 70 dogs of 37 different breeds poop 1,893 times and urinate 5,582 times. All of the observations were made while the dogs were off-leash and in open fields, so walls, fences, fire hydrants, and other stuff wouldn't affect them. So you see, researchers looked at the direction the dogs face and found that it isn't random. They ruled out things like time of day, the sun's angle, and the wind. The research found that the Earth's magnetic field explained how dogs know where to go to the bathroom. The pattern was interesting because it only showed up when the magnetic field was stable, which only happened about 30% of the time. Changes in solar winds and the sun's magnetic field can make the Earth's magnetic field less stable. 
During these times of instability, dogs tended not to line up with the north-south axis. Instead, they were oriented in random ways. Number 7. Hummingbirds Have you ever seen a hummingbird? If you have, you've noticed that these teeny birds can fly in all directions. Backwards, forwards, sideways. They're also known for flapping their wings really fast. Anywhere from 50 to 200 times per second. That's much faster than any other bird can flap its wings, so it's not even close. So how do hummingbirds do it? Well, they have some unique features that give them their superpowers. First, they have big breast bones compared to other birds. They also have a special joint in their wings that allows them to rotate more. But even with these features, scientists still didn't understand how hummingbirds were able to hover in the air. To find out, they put some non-toxic paint on the wings of a female ruby-throated hummingbird and recorded her with four cameras. They used this data to create a computer model that showed what was happening in the air as the bird flapped her wings. What they discovered was pretty amazing. Most birds create lift when they flap their wings down, but hummingbirds create lift with every up and down stroke. This makes their flight more like an insect than a bird. So there you have it, the secret to a hummingbird's superpowers. Number 8. Black Mambas The black mamba is widely regarded as one of the fastest and deadliest snakes in the world. Which makes sense, if you're going to give Kobe a nickname, it, it should be those things. These snakes can be found in various parts of sub-Saharan Africa, including southern and eastern regions. They're named for the color of their inner mouth, which is jet black. In terms of speed, black mambas are incredibly fast, with the ability to sliver at speeds up to 12 miles per hour. They're capable of moving quickly over a variety of terrains, including rough and rocky ground. This makes them really effective predators, and they can easily chase prey down. The reason why they seem to defy the laws of aerodynamics is simple. The mamba achieves its speed by undulating its body in a lateral wave motion, similar to a fish's movement in water. Its long and slender tail then acts as a rudder to steer and stabilize its trajectory. The snake isn't just fast moving, it's also fast at injecting venom. Black mambas are venomous snakes that possess neurotoxins that can paralyze their prey within minutes. However, its speed of delivery makes the mamba's venom exceptional. The snake can inject up to 100 milligrams of venom in a single bite. That's enough to kill several animals or humans. The venom travels through a pair of long, hollow fangs that the snake can extend or retract at will, pretty much like a switchblade knife, but like full of poison. The mamba's venom is so potent, it can kill a person within 20 minutes, making it one of the most deadly animals on the planet. And that, that might be pretty scary too, because uh, as you just saw, they're the deadliest snake and the fastest. But you'll be glad to hear that they're also not as aggressive as many people think. So you're safe, we think. Number 9. Stonefish Stonefish have been known to defy the laws of physics in several ways. They can camouflage themselves as rocks, change their buoyancy, and move quickly through the water. They also have a potent venom that can affect the chemical processes in a victim's body. These unique abilities make stonefish one of the ocean's most exciting and dangerous creatures. This venomous fish can be found in shallow waters in the Indo-Pacific region. When observed, it was seen that they have a unique skill to camouflage their shape and color to blend in with the rocks, which makes it tough for them to be spotted. This ability is due to their flattened and broad body shape and their rough, spiny appearance that mimics the texture of rocks. Moreover, stonefish can change their buoyancy, which allows them to float or sink in the water. It's possible because of their specialized swim bladder that can inflate or deflate to control their buoyancy. By flapping their pectoral fins, stonefish can move pretty quickly through the water despite their heavy and bulky appearance. Another way that stonefish defy the laws of physics is through their venom. They have venomous spines on their dorsal fin which they use for defense when threatened. The venom is very potent. It causes extreme pain, paralysis, and even death to humans and other animals. So if you ever come across one, we advise you to keep your distance. Number 10. Dung Beetles the dung beetle is widely considered the strongest insect due to its impressive ability to roll a ball of dung up to 50 times its weight. That's pretty impressive. These dung beetles can be found on every continent except Antarctica, and that's good because these insects play a vital role in the ecosystem. They help break down and recycle animal waste. So how do they accomplish those tasks? Uh, it's not easy. Dung beetles have a unique physical structure that allows them to perform their remarkable feats of strength. Their bodies are compact and muscular, with large legs and a sturdy exoskeleton. 
This allows them to generate the force necessary to move large objects. Not to mention, their front legs are specialized for digging, while their hind legs are adapted for pushing and rolling. And the process of rolling a ball of dung isn't as easy as it sounds. Dung beetles first locate a suitable source of dung, which they break down and shape into a ball using their front legs. Then they use their hind legs to push the ball, often uphill, while using their front legs to maintain control and adjust the ball's direction as necessary. This process can take several minutes and it requires a great strength and coordination. Interestingly, not all dung beetles roll their dung. Some species bury it instead, while others feed directly on the dung. But as you just saw, those that do roll dung are considered the strongest due to the sheer force required to move such a heavy object. There's a poop joke in here somewhere, but I'll refrain. Number 11. Snails. Yeah, snails look dull, and you're wondering how they ended up on this list. So just give me one minute. When you look at a snail, they're tiny and slimy with an interesting shell, but otherwise pretty boring. And to top it off, they move very slowly and they leave a slimy trail wherever they go. But these cold-blooded creatures rely on their environment to regulate their body temperature. You see, one of the most fascinating aspects of snail biology is their ability to enter a state of suspended animation called estivation. This survival technique allows them to conserve energy and survive harsh environmental conditions like drought, extreme heat, or cold. Snails retreat into their shells during estivation and seal the opening with a mucous membrane. They reduce their metabolism and heart rate to a minimum, and their body functions slow down to the point where they seem to be dead. However, they're not actually dead, they're just in a state of hibernation. The length of snail estivation can vary depending on the species, the environmental conditions, and the availability of food and water. And while some snails can stay in this state for a few days or weeks, some can do months or even three years. Snails can sleep for up to three years because they have a low metabolic rate, which means that they require very little energy to survive. They store food and water in their bodies, which allows them to survive for long periods without external sources of nutrients. The ability of snails to enter a state of dormancy for extended periods is a remarkable example of adaptation and survival in the animal kingdom. Number 12. Silent Flying Owl In the dark of night, an owl silently glides through the air hunting for its next meal. Unlike most birds, owls fly without making a sound, which has fascinated scientists for years. Krista Lee Pian recently presented her work on the evolution of silent owl flight at a conference in Canada. She explained that owls have unique wing and feather features that reduce the sound of their flight. Their large wings let them fly slowly and glide noiselessly. The structure of their feathers breaks up turbulent air and dampens the sound produced, as Kensho will now show you. <laughs> Scientists have proposed two hypotheses as to why silent flight is crucial for the survival of many owl species. The stealthy hunting hypothesis suggests that owls fly inaudibly to surprise their prey and reduce the time that it has to escape. On the other hand, the prey detection hypothesis proposes that silent flight helps owls to hear and track their prey. Le Pian's research shows that both hypotheses are correct, depending on the type of owl. Owls that hunt prey with good hearing and those that hunt at night have evolved feathers that reduce noise. Silent flight seems to be a crucial adaptation for these impressive birds of prey. Number 13. Bombardier Beetle Another beetle on our list is the Bombardier Beetle. This beetle has the ability to spray a scalding hot, noxious liquid from its abdomen at its predators with incredible accuracy and speed, seemingly defying the laws of physics. The secret to the beetle's ability lie in a specialized gland located in the abdomen. This gland contains two chemicals, hydroquinone and hydrogen peroxide, which are kept separate from each other in two separate compartments. When threatened, the beetle mixes these two chemicals together and heats them to almost boiling using enzymes. This is how it produces a chemical that it sprays out in the form of harmful hot gas. The mongoose's reaction should tell you that this hurts a lot. The way it sprays this hot gas makes the Bombardier beetle's defense mechanism so unique. It's not expelled as a continuous stream, but rather as a series of rapid-fire bursts, each lasting only a fraction of a second. This is achieved by the beetle rapidly opening and closing two specially adapt valves located at the end of the abdomen. 
The beetle can control the rate and direction of the bursts with remarkable precision, allowing it to aim accurately at its predator and to vary the intensity of the spray as necessary. Number 14. Immortal Jellyfish The Turritopsis Dornhe jellyfish is a tiny transparent creature with extraordinary survival skills. You see, it can transform back into a polyp when faced with physical damage or starvation, essentially hitting the reset button on its life cycle. This process, called transdifferentiation, allows the jellyfish to create genetically identical offspring and has led to it being labeled the immortal jellyfish. The jellyfish's ability to recycle cells through transdifferentiation is an essential area of study in stem cell research, with the potential to help replace damaged cells in the future. Number 15. Pufferfish once upon a time, in the depths of the sea off Japan, there was a mysterious and beautiful circular pattern on the seafloor. Divers were fascinated by this underwater crop circle, and soon they discovered more nearby. For over a decade, nobody knew what was causing these strange formations until one day, the creator was finally found. This small 5-inch long pufferfish you just saw was responsible for the ornate circles that measured a whopping 7 feet in diameter. But why are they doing it? Further study revealed that the male pufferfish made these patterns to attract mates. The mates would flap their fins along the seafloor, causing disrupted sediment that resulted in amazing circular formations. Females would come to inspect the circles, and if they liked what they saw, they'd reproduce with the males. However, nobody knew precisely what traits the females are looking for. But that's not important. What's mesmerizing is the skill with which they create that design that's almost impossible for even a human by freehand. But somehow, that tiny creature made a design so much larger than itself by swimming around in the sand and moving around the sediment. Amazing. Which one of these physics-defying animals was your favorite? I'd love to hear in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Until next time.